All of today's news has literally brought to you by The Ride Never Ends. Just when you think we're done, there's more coming. So first up is number 76, Gladiel, the Melody Lumestra. Alright, so first up, this is a Link 7. I already fucking walked outside and I left before this video started, so this is Robot Robbie here. So, <laughs> two level 7s to make it. Hmm. Congratulations, Dark Magicians. You did it. <laughs> you got a new support card. So, okay, so you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. Already really distracted by the fact this is two level 7s to make. So, this card's attribute is also treated as the same attribute as its materials. Well, fuck me, goes in match. Congratulations, uh, this card's getting forced off the field. We automatically have a counter to this. It's called goes in match. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster with the same attribute as this card. Also cannot be destroyed by the effects effect monsters with the same attribute as this card. Okay, so that's pretty cute. We have end belt protection. And then quick effect, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Detach one exceeds from this card, and if you do, attach that monster to this card as material. I would like to give a shout out to Perfectly Fair Design. Um, this card will not be having immunities to any more than pff, three at a time. So like, it's pretty cute that you can quick effect detach material from this, eat up something from your opponent's graveyard. Yeah, I'm looking at you solid. You guys and your little spinnies and shit, like, don't mind if I just take that and turn it on to my creature. So, okay. Two level sevens, kind of ridiculous. Not a super huge fan of that summoning condition, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a pretty interesting card in terms of design. I mean, it's just another number monster that we're adding into our arsenal already. Now, we got some straight interesting cards here. And these, these have been floating around for a couple hours now, but I waited a little bit to see if more was coming out, and we did get one thing. So this is Starly's Dragon Safer. It is a level 4, 1800, has zero defense. I mean, can't get lucky on them all, but level 4 Light Dragon. So you can only use cards first and second effects once per turn. This, this is actually pretty interesting. So you can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard to add from your deck to your hand one dragon type monster whose level equals the total original monster's levels of scent. Can't be less. I already cried myself to sleep when I looked at this the first time. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Um, I just hate the fact that this has to be on the field for you to do the effect. It's cute that you can send itself to the graveyard to go search for a, a black dragon collapse serpent, because that's pretty cute. Um, I think that's the one thing I, I've taken away from this card so far, is I can summon this and go get a Black Dragon Collapse to go search for the Wyvern Buster, which means that uh, I literally have Elpe and Pisty in one card. So that's pretty cute. Banish this card from your graveyard and target one level 8 light or one Dark Dragon Monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So my first question to you guys is uh, what big level 8 Light and Dark Dragons. Light and Darkness Dragon was eight stars, right? If I remember correctly, maybe I'm wrong there. I can't I can't think of anything other than I want to go search for the little baby Chaos Dragons with this. Oh, this can search for Chaos Ember Dragon back from the graveyard. And I can use that in the same turn. Well, it's not going to matter because it's never going to come up. But I think this card is cute because it does search for the Guard Dragon-esque combo pieces. And it literally fuels for it too, which is pretty goddamn good. So I'll take that. Now this thing, this is pretty interesting. So this is Galaxy Satellite Dragon. And my first major concern right off the bat here was this guy got satellite or got galaxy in his name. He's like a little mini link monster for galaxies. And then I saw our summoning conditions of two dragons, and like I said, I already checked out before this video started. So, that's pretty cute. But, okay. It is two dragons, which, I mean, hey, you know what? It's doable. So, during either player's battle phase, you can banish this card from your hand, or from your field or graveyard, and target one number exceeds you control whose original type and attribute are dragon and light until the end of this battle. Have all damage your opponent takes. Also, that target's attack becomes equal to the number in its name. 
times 100. Whoa, 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 whoa here. So I can target a number exceeds monster whose original type is <laughs> light. It's Tachyon light. I think Tachyon's light. So number 107. So we can turn it into 107,000 power. That's fucking cheeky. Then during your opponent's end phase, you can choose one card from your deck, place it on the top of your deck. This is... <laughs> there's a lot going on here for galaxy decks. Like, you get to half your opponent's damage, and then you can... <laughs> 107,000 power? Huh. Huh. But is that easy to make? That's the question of the day. Man, this card seems pretty absurd. I'm looking forward to... Please, somebody break this card. Somebody break this. There's gotta be something that we can do to, like, cheeseball this. Like, I'm, I'm really hoping that there is. Now, a little interesting stuff here. For those of you that don't remember, a couple of months back, we had a special obelisk set come up on the market. And with it, there was a special, like, obelisk coin... Um, and some other stuff. Well, we roll back around now, and it's our boy Slifer's turn this time. Which, I I really love the fact that Japan makes cool products like this. Um, unfortunately, TCG side, we never get nice things like this. I really wish they would pull a page out of our book and make something exclusive for YCSs. Come on, guys. Like, you've got cool merch that you're selling on the flip side over here. Make something exclusive to YCSs. Like, make people want to go. Make a deck box for an event. Make, like, a small limited run of them. Be like, put a Yu-Gi-Oh character on it. Magic did this. Like, Star City Games, come on now. I, it can't be that expensive to do something like this. I don't know if they would sell well. I think that's my major concern with doing something like that. But, I mean, you would spend a little bit of something on the market, and it wouldn't be that hard. I, I guess, like, dedicating them to vendors to sell might be an issue. But, like, I don't know. It's the fun little ideas like that. So, this Slifer set. So you get the extremely cool Slifer mat, which looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this. This is the uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon coin that comes with it. And honestly, I I don't know if... I think the Slifer looks a little bit too 3D on this. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is turned off by that fact, but there's that. Now this... Someday the TCG will get 20th anniversary foiling. I've been waiting my whole life for this. But as you can see, the Slifer looks absolutely gorgeous here. Like, oh man. But <laughs> this is a, basically a fucking big towel. Um, I really love how creative the Japanese are with their marketing. Like, you want a big giant Slifer the Sky Dragon towel? Because you can get one. Um, how about a uh, drinking cup? Would would this would this make you guys happy? How about a just a, a mug that has Slifer on it? Somebody out there is gonna fucking love that. Now, I I honestly think that that's fucking cool. Also, the fact that they made Slifer a towel is ridiculous as it is. But there's that just a fun little collector's item coming up on the secondary market. And then a little thing here I wanted to point out: we have new official sleeves rolling out here. Uh, look how cheap these are. 55 in a pack, and I mean, the Japanese quality is beautiful. Like, these actually look really good, and I'm I'm personally looking forward to seeing these come out. Actually, I think these look good, too. Not, not a super huge fan of the white ones down here, but, eh, you know, whatever. So, that's all we got for this video. I do want to say, this card, I'm intrigued by this. There... There has to be something. And like I said, in the comment section, guys, please do leave a comment. Tell me what we can do to break Galaxy Satellite Night. You know, I'm expecting Tachyon Ghost Rares. They're going up. I'm pretty sure they're going up, even at the point in making this video right now, which is already ridiculous because that's how fast our secondary market works. Snap your fingers. Shit's already gone. So please, down there, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. If we got some cool, crazy ideas that we can do to mess around with this, I'd like to hear them. And, well, guys, I'm out. The ride never, well, truly ends. 
Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.